Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export animated banners from Figma uh, directly to HTML and uh, specifically for the DoubleClick Studio uh, ad platform. So to do this, uh, we just need to install a plugin called Bannerify and you can do that by going up to the top toolbar and clicking on the little Figma icon. Uh, once you've done that, you'll, you'll be able to go to the Community tab um, and go to the search bar and if you uh, search for the term Bannerify B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y and then click on the Plugins tab uh, you'll see Bannerify HTML Exporter pop up and if you haven't got it installed you'll be able to go to the right hand side here and click on the Install button and that'll make it uh, appear the way that mine does with the little checkbox and uh, if you're using this for the first time or if you just want to follow along, if you click into the plugin uh, and go down in the description to the additional notes section, uh, the first bullet point contains a URL, uh, which is this one. If you copy paste that into your browser, uh, you'll be able to open up the Figma file that we're going to be using in this tutorial, uh, which has a pre-designed set of banners and some preset animations that we're going to use uh, just to show you how to export uh, the banners to DoubleClick Studio. So once you've done that, you can open up the file that you've duplicated. And to open up the plugin, we can just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, and then click on Bannerify HTML Exporter. And that's going to fire up the plugin that we just installed. So once that opens up, uh, we get a full list of all the frames from our designs and you can see here these are all coming in from the left hand side here. Uh, they've already got animations on them because we've uh, opened up the file that has been pre-designed. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you how to do any animation or any uh, timeline settings or anything like that in this tutorial. Uh, if you are interested in that, there's another video on this YouTube channel which goes for about 40 minutes and it's a real uh, in-depth deep dive into how to structure your animations and um, adjust the timelines and it has a whole bunch of neat tricks uh, that lets you apply these animations really quickly in your own designs. Uh, so you can check that out on the channel. Um, but for now we're happy with these designs and all we want to do is export them from Figma to HTML uh, for the double click studio format. So the way we can do that is just by clicking on this button in the top right here uh, which is called export banners to HTML. So if we click on that uh, we'll get a whole bunch of options here and the one we're focusing on today uh, is just going to be the code output settings. Uh, so at the moment it's set to vanilla HTML and JavaScript but if we click on that drop down uh, you can see that that's categorized in this top area here called standard, which means that um, these are all vanilla exports. They don't have any third-party code for any other third-party platforms or any third-party advertising networks. Um, so if we go down to the second category, second group called advertising platforms, uh, you can see there's a, a bunch more options down here. And today the only one we're looking at is the Double Click Studio option, which is the third one down in the list. Uh, if you click on Double Click Studio and select that, uh, you'll notice that the URL bar has disappeared from the option that we had selected before. So when we were selecting the vanilla option, there was a banner link URL field here. And that will let you put in your website or your landing page that you want the banner to click through to. Um, but because we're using DoubleClick Studio, we don't have to include that, that uh, URL here because when we upload the DoubleClick uh, Studio banners into DoubleClick, um, it'll provide the option in the DoubleClick UI to add a URL or an exit, um, an exit event uh, that will point to a URL or a campaign page that you, you're after uh, for your particular ad campaign. Uh, so that's why that's left off there. So now that we've got DoubleClick Studio selected, all we need to do is click on the Export Banners button in the bottom right. So this will generate all of the code for us. Um, it'll also export all of the images for us and give us a little zip file. Uh, so it's just finished doing that. It only takes a couple of seconds. And if we click Save, 
and jump to our desktop. And if we double click on the zip file, that will open up the banners that we've just exported. So you can see we've got all the folders here that uh, represent all the frames that are coming in, coming in from our Figma design. And to get a sense of what they all look like, the easiest way to do that um, is just to double click on this index.html file, uh, which will open up in the browser. So I'll just do that now. So you can see here, we've got our banners um, exported from Figma into HTML. This is in the browser now. Um, so we can play back that animation by using this little play icon in the corner. Uh, we don't have it set to loop, so that's why I'm doing it manually. And you can see here it's coming in uh, exactly the way that we'd expect. All the animations have been automatically generated for us. Um, this preview page will adapt. Um, so that can be really nice if you're presenting to clients or sharing it around internally. And uh, to get a bit of a look at what's going on under the hood, uh, we can open up our code editor and actually see what's going on. Um, so I'm just going to open up my, my files that were just exported from Figma. And if we open up the MREC, the medium rectangle, uh, that'll give us a, little, a bit of a look into what's going on. So I'm just going to open up this individual banner by going into the folder and opening the index file and you can see it over here and uh, if i open up the index file uh, you'll notice a couple of things in here so we've got all of our html images all of our elements to make up the banner uh, we've also got our javascript and we've got our css uh, so the javascript contains some code that automatically uh, makes this compatible with DoubleClick Studio. So it's got a few event listeners going on. And uh, what we can actually do to test that in the browser is if we go to the inspect, uh, ins uh, DevTools inspect, and then switch into console. Uh, and I'm just gonna refresh the page. You can see here in the console that there's a few things going on. So um, Studio SDK, so that's the DoubleClick Studio, which is being loaded from the index file. Uh, it's including this script here, which is the enabler.js file, and that's for uh, specifically for DoubleClick Studio. So that's being loaded in. And so you can see that being initialized. Um, it knows that we're in a test environment running it locally. So that's why it's saying it's simulating local events. So if we go ahead and click on this little banner anywhere there, uh, you can see it's, it's firing off uh, the background exit event, which is being invoked. So... That's how we can tell that it is registering the click event and uh, that's a successful uh, click event. So once that goes into DoubleClick Studio, once you've associated a background exit event with a URL or an action, um, clicking on the banner will fire off that uh, event successfully. Um, so that's how we can tell that it's working. So everything's looking really good there. Uh, we've also got our CSS, which is handling all the animation and positioning for us. This is all getting generated automatically, as are the images. So we've got SVGs for all the text to keep them really crisp and small. And then we've got some PNGs and JPEGs uh, for some of the other uh, assets in there. Um, so that's that's a rough look at what Bannerify is exporting for all of the banners. And these are designed to be production ready. So you don't need to know any code. You don't need to have any developers on standby uh, to sort of manually convert them from Figma to HTML. Uh, Bannerify will automatically generate all the necessary code uh, for from Figma to HTML for DoubleClick Studio, and uh, you should be good to go. So if you zip up uh, each of those banners now or just drag the folders into DoubleClick Studio, uh, you should be good to go uh, for your campaign, and all you'll have to do is associate those uh, exit URLs with um, the URLs for your campaign or your landing page. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's, it's uh, as I said, this is just a tutorial on exporting to the DoubleClick Studio format, um, just the process of going from Figma to HTML. And if you do wanna have a look at uh, our other tutorials, we have a, as I mentioned before, a really in-depth one on uh, actually adding the animations and uh, messing around with the timelines and doing all sorts of neat tricks with um, delays and speeds and selections and all that sort of stuff. Um, so you can find that video on the YouTube channel, uh, the Figmatic channel that you found this video on. 
And uh, yeah, until the next time, I hope this has been a valuable tutorial for you. Uh, if you were trying to figure out how to uh, get your Figma designs into HTML or uh, uploaded to DoubleClick, um, the Bannerify plugin will do it really, really quickly uh, automatically for you. So yeah, thank you as always for watching and we'll be uh, releasing more tutorials very soon.